In this exercise, we're going to learn how to slice graphics both in a part file and also inside of an assembly file. The file that I currently have open is called slicegraphics.ipt and it can be found in your chapter 7 exercise folder. What I want to do with this part right here is I want to create another feature right in the middle of this part, but as you can see, it's kind of difficult to work inside the part since it's shelled out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a sketch active and I'm going to use the origin planes for this so I'm going to go back and select on the YZ plane and as you can see right now if I went back and did a look at to the sketch kind of difficult to see right through that part so I'm just going to switch back to a little bit of an isometric view and what I'm going to do is right click and then select slice graphics from the menu or press the F7 key and you see what that did is it went and removed the front portion of the part so I can now see inside of it. So now if I go back and do the look at tool, now I'm looking directly inside. In this case I'm just going to draw in another rectangle. Also another very useful tool, in this case I'm going to go back and click on project cut edges. The tool that uh, may be current in your on your screen is going to be project geometry, but project cut edges is going to take all of the edges that actually touch that sketch. And then I'm just going to apply a couple of dimensions. I just hit D on the keyboard. Set up a relationship there between them. And we'll make that 40. So now I'm just going to change it again to a little bit of an isometric view. And then I'm going to just hit E on the keyboard to extrude that geometry out. And let's bring the dialog box up. Let's use the two option. I'm going to select the inside of the cylinder. Click on the more tab. I'm going to reverse that direction. Click OK. And you can see that my feature has been cut. I want to place in one more feature right on this front face here of that new feature we created, so I'm going to make that plain the active sketch. And as you can see, that is the critical portion of doing a slice graphics inside of a part, is you need to be inside of a sketch. And again, slice graphics. Then just draw in whatever feature you want. I'll just place in a rectangle. You could dimension it if, if needed. Again, I'm just going to hit E for extrude, and the reason I, I'm doing that, if I would exit out of the sketch environment, the slice graphics will disappear, so it makes it very easy to go back and still see inside the part. In this case, let's go back and let's join that 15 millimeters out. And there's my feature. The next file that I'm going to take a look at is going to be in the Chapter 6 Exercise folder. And let's go ahead and open up arborpress.iam. Now inside of an assembly file, we don't have to have a sketch defined as being active. From the assembly panel, we can go back and do a slice graphics. In this case, let's start off by doing the quarter section view. And if you look at the lower left hand corner of your screen, Inventor is going to be helping us along suggesting which face or faces we need to select. So the face that we have to select here needs to be planar or it could be a work plane. So in this case, I'm just going to select that inside plane. Then let's go back. I'm going to select this plane right here. And you can see what happened if I spin the graphics around. I've actually sliced through the assembly. Now at this point, I could go back and add assembly constraints if I wanted. If I right click, I can flip that section and look at the opposite side being cut. Not a whole lot left to that part in this case. I can switch back to the three quarter if I needed to. In this case, I'm just going to say done. And let's take a look at another option. If I did a half section, select down a plane. I'm going to cut right through that plane. Again, I can right click, flip the direction, and now we're looking at it from the opposite direction in. From the, the menu, I can also come back down here and click the three quarter section. Again, let's select a couple different planes here. Let's select a plane on the bottom. 
and this inside plane right here kind of gives you a little different perspective of looking at the uh, assembly. One thing to note is that the Slice Graphics is very graphics intense, so you want to make sure that you have a very decent video card, or if you're going to start to do your rotate, it may slow down just a little bit. And when we're done, we can either click on Done there to finish out that tool set, but then to complete the entire section, again, come back down to the assembly panel and click on End Section View.